Hey, what's up guys? So recently I just refurbished my garden. I've got all these new concrete slabs. Uh, I've got new plants. Now the only thing that's missing is some decor lighting. So coincidentally, at the same time, in, I've been sent a couple of uh, light boxes from a company called Corey. So these are some ambient light bulbs that I'm gonna be sticking up along the sides of the uh, garden here. So what it is, I'm gonna stick it up on the two ends of my uh, back storage room there, along with the two ends of the back of my kitchen. So I'm gonna be giving you a quick unboxing of what's in there, how many light bulbs, a little bit of special specification around them and then uh, what you guys want to see is hopefully setting them up and actually seeing how they look at night time so let's just get straight into it One, two, three, shaping this destiny. From soil. all right guys so this is what comes in the box it's actually a 28 foot cable and uh, 25 foot is with the uh, light bulbs leading up to the extension lead for the plug so if you take a look here, this is actually the size of these bulbs. They're the G40 screw-in bulbs, and they are IP45 water resistant as well, so you can set them up indoor and outdoor. So let me just take a few of these out and show you what they look like. Now, there's 12 of them, and each of them are 19 inches apart in the complete 28-foot cable. I'll leave all of the uh, specifications below as well. So just put that down to the side. I will take this out and uh, show you properly once I'm setting them up. But here, as you can see, these screws are actually airtight uh, waterproof screws. So when you put this in, it makes it a little bit more compatible with like rainy weather and um, doesn't make it loose or anything like that. Now, what they do mention is that it's not completely 100% waterproof. So if you've set this up in the middle of a storm, for example, then they could get damaged. So they recommend it is compatible outdoors, but have some sort of covering. If you're going to have sunny days, warm weather, then you'll have no problems whatsoever. So generally, the IP45 rating is the same as when you have smartphones and you're using it inside the rain when you're walking outdoors. So these are the two connectors that come in the uh, casing shells. So as you can see, there's a little two pin in there. All you have to do is just slot them in like so. They're going tight. And then it comes with the little screw as well to make sure no water goes inside the uh, two parts. And there you go, it's airtight. So these light bulbs are globe string lights, which has about 30,000 hours of lifetime, which is pretty awesome. And it has very low consumption. So you can use this for long periods of time and they won't overheat. So you still be able to touch them. So as you can see, this is about the size of the uh, light bulbs as well. So they're not massive, um, they're waterproof and they're pretty much sealed in tight. If I take one out, you can see these are the small screw ones. So you just need to make sure they're quite secure in there. And each of these come with a little clip as well, if you want to clip it to maybe a garden fence or any other screws that you have in your patio or outdoor scenarios. And then obviously you'll have uh, enough uh, extension uh, length for the uh, plug itself to plug wherever you have a socket. So that's everything. I'm gonna go ahead, set this up and then showcase to you guys how it looks. All right guys, so I've just set this up and I've got this on the fence here on the left-hand side. So let me quickly show you how this is done. So these come with little hooks at the back of the uh, light bulb connectors. I've put them into the uh, ridges of the fence, as you can see with this one here. So I've clipped them on, on a couple of stages, and they give a nice little glow to the fence as well. And as you can see, it finishes there. So I've just tucked the wire behind the fence along the side of the gap. On the other side, I have a plug extension in my storage room at the back. As you can see from here, it comes out the window. I've got the plug up there and I've got it hanging and it goes along the uh, side of the wall. And I've got little hooks for the uh, flowers, which I've just connected them to. So I'm not utilizing the hooks. I'm just connecting it by putting it on the actual railing hook there as well. Just let the wire go through and they go all along the side. So they're hanging freely as you can see here. And then I've just chucked the end of the wire in the back of the drain pipe there. So that's how it completely looks with uh, one hanging and one connected with the hooks to give you an idea of how they both look. So let's just take a look at nighttime, how they uh, come out with the uh, ambient lighting. What heaven bleed will make it back to the sea And I'm aiming for your heart I believe I hold the chart So I say one, two, three Give me your love again, again, again
All right, guys, thanks for watching. So these are the uh, Core rebranded lights. So they come in a pack of two. They're both 25 foot each, and I think they've done a great job lighting up my garden. It's now dark, it's nighttime, and it's illuminated the entire garden. You can probably see this from very high up in the sky. And I think this is perfect for having outdoor parties, garden parties. You don't need any other external lights to light up your garden. This is more than enough. So they come at 42 pounds, a little bit under, um, just for the pack of two. So I have a link in the description below on where you can purchase this from Amazon. Do check out Corey Branding. I think they've got a lot of awesome ambient lights that they sell for indoor and outdoor for your home as well. There's loads of different options and I think you're gonna really like that. So I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe and I'll catch you guys at the next ambient lighting videos. Take care.